The Department of Commerce launched the I-6 challenge to unlock the innovative capacity of the country in markets not traditionally known for entrepreneurial activity. It's not only resonant in Silicon Valley and in Boston, but in markets like Charlottesville and elsewhere that are the real pockets of opportunity moving forward. The I-6 program was a competitive grant designed to find those innovative ecosystems and to provide them seed capital to scale what works. The Virginia Innovation Partnership, which we call VIP, is a new proof of concept network that really spans the whole state from Northern Virginia to the Tidewater region, to South and Southwest Virginia, and of course, including major research universities in Central Virginia, including UVA. And we think the new value of this is that it'll bring ideas and talent from every corner of the state to collaborate together, to move ideas from the laboratory out to the world, where the ideas can create new jobs and new economic growth in this region. There are three attributes to the Virginia Innovation Partnership that I think stood out from the rest. One is its statewide scope. Second was its ability to build on what works. And third, the opportunity to connect with partners across the ecosystem, entrepreneurs, mentors, economic development professionals across the Commonwealth. Partners from all over the state can apply for the VIP partnership awards. So if you're a faculty member at a community college in Southwest Virginia, you're eligible. You could partner up with a technologist or a policy-making expert at the University of Virginia. If you're at George Mason, you could partner with someone at Old Dominion University in the Tidewater region. And so, with everyone being eligible, we expect to see teams apply from all the universities, public and private, and all the community colleges in the Commonwealth of Virginia. To move things in proof of concept to practice, one often has to rapidly make a part or a prototype. And what you see here is the rapid prototyping laboratory in mechanical engineering in the engineering school at UVA. This kind of capability, which is one of the best in the nation, will now be available to everyone in the I-6 VIP network. So the idea could come from Southwest Virginia, but it could be prototyped here. If we're going to involve community colleges and small universities, small colleges that don't have technology transfer or business development functions, I think the expertise of UVA Innovation will be called upon to help write business plans, to help find mentors, uh, to help evaluate intellectual property positions, and to really create the value around these innovation concepts so that those that do have real world, real market potential uh, are best situated to attract the entrepreneurs, attract the investors, attract the management necessary to create a, a real business opportunity. Business Week has noted that innovation remains among the top three priorities for corporate CEOs in every corner of the country. Yet, more often than not, in fact more than half, are disappointed in their internal capacity for innovation. There's no doubt in my mind that connecting to university assets are critical for CEOs looking to tap into new ideas and products, and that the Virginia Innovation Partnership offers a terrific first start, a great way to plug into those promising ideas that need proof of concept before transitioning fully into the private sector. If I were running a corporation today across the Commonwealth, my first phone call for new product development would be to the leaders in the Virginia Innovation Partnership to find ways to tap into that creativity across the Commonwealth. It's the lowest hanging fruit and most likely to result in breakthrough products and services that will grow Virginia's economy for decades to come.